Aaron, thank you very much. Taking a look at the markets this morning, the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P are all up in early market hours. They've been open for about 17 minutes now. We'll keep you posted all show long. In consumer news this morning, on the sporting side of things today, Churchill Downs is getting a makeover. Churchill officials plan to add nearly 2,400 seats in a VIP hospitality lounge as part of a $14.5 million project at the home of the Race for the Roses. The new venue is expected to be ready in time for the Derby and the Kentucky Oaks next May. Elsewhere, the Federal Reserve wraps up its two-day policy-setting meeting this afternoon. Investors are still looking to Fed Chief Ben Bernanke to offer a timetable for when the Fed will start scaling back its bond-buying program. The program has helped keep interest rates at near-record lows over the last year, and the Fed has said it will begin to reduce its bond-buying program later this year if the economy continues to improve. On the other side of things this morning, a new government report is expected to come out today showing that the U.S. economy grew at a dismal pace last quarter thanks to large tax increases and steep federal spending cuts. But economists say the second quarter should be the low point for the year. They say improvement in housing and the job markets should push growth higher in the second half of the year.